I still ain't really kind of figured out what some of them do quite yet either. So, but yeah, you use the R3 button to break them down and you press square to pick stuff up. But honestly, I think the best thing to get in the game is like the first thing you should do is try to find you a good weapon. Then after that, man, I'd, I'd be trying to get perks, man. Perks is where it's at. You get like, they got perks like 30% life steal rune. So like every time you shoot somebody, you get 30% of the health back for the damage you deal. That shit's OP, man. And you get like a headshot damage increase, 15% damage increase, weapon damage increase, shit like that. So like perks is where it's at, man. bad game like I've been, I, I've been enjoying it honestly I played it uh, a month ago um, when it came out and it was kind of shitty I didn't really get into it oh great level three Just go ahead and get into the tutorial real quick so you can get acclimated. Right. It shouldn't take you that long to do the tutorial either. You might want to fuck with your sensitivity right out the gate too, man. Like, straight up. Because it's, uh... It starts, it starts you off with like 3 and 3 sensitivity on your turn. Uh -huh. it, it's That's pretty janky, to be honest with you. I might wind up turning it up I got, higher. Yeah, I got mine on fives, know. man. Oh yeah, I've got to play the tutorial before I let me do anything else. Oh, you have to? Yeah. Oh shit, okay. So I didn't know that. Well, that's a good thing. I'm glad it's doing that because I'm off for a great fucking start here in this match, man. <laughs> to be yeah. honest with you. I can, I gotta, I can jump. I got a decked out slot and a decked out AVR, like, I'm, and level 3 armor, I'm strapped. I got Dead Silence and Skulker, and fucking, uh, yeah, I need to turn yeah, I'm, I'm fucking dead. Right off the bat. I got mine set on like 5.5 five or 6.6, six, six, I think, something like that. I'm probably gonna have mine on 8.8. Eight, eight. Well, to be honest with you, man, like, it's, it's touchy. It's really yeah, fucking touchy. It since I'm here. Like, it, it doesn't take much when you turn it up. It doesn't take much at all. But yeah, you want to go for headshots. I want to say it does double damage. Damn, I found another fucking crate. With a paladin? What the hell? 
I don't know if I want the Paladin or keep the ABR. Ah. It's another level 3 up here. Damn. This movement ability shit's actually pretty cool. Yeah, you get all sorts of different kinds of movement abilities. You get like a ghost walk where you turn in invisible and shit. And, and then you get another one where you fly around. And, and then you get another one where you can do like a backflip and it turns you ghost for a little bit. And, and you got smoke grenades that, that block your vision and shit. And then you got this uh, glitch thing that just makes you like teleport real quick. It's a... Uh, it's trippy, man. Yeah, I, wanna, I don't want that two top scope on it. Got you, bitch. Bang, bang. Thank you. Come again. Oh, oh, I like the movement. Right? I really do. I like to move it, move it. Which one are you, uh, which one are you starting off with? Like which character? You got a warrior, a mage, an, a rogue, and an assassin. Uh. Or an archer and assassin. Could be good landing spots. Okay. Huh. Uh, I don't know. It it started me off as a big. I'm, I'm assuming it's the warrior because he's a big beefy guy. Okay, yeah. So yeah, the warrior he's really keen to using like melee weapons and shit, like swords and hammers right, and such. Tutorial. And he's also yeah he's also got like throwing axes and whatnot. And Now when you play duos, you go to a forge, you can spend your shards on getting something called a uh, rejuvenation or resurrection rune that brings your okay. teammate back to life. So if your teammate dies, you can bring him back to life by going to a forge. But it costs like 90 shards to do so, so it's expensive to do that shit. I like the movement thing, the like the movement, uh, the fact that like those recharge and shit. I like that. That's, that's yeah. a cool addition. Well, your uh, your offhand ability recharges and shit too. I definitely like that. Supply drop inbound. And then are mounts just around the map? Or do you ha just have one? You just have one. You press right on your D-pad. Uh, warrior, hunter, assassin, or mage. It it depends, man. Uh, you like sniping and shit, right? Yeah. 
You want assassin. Assassin, okay. Okay. Oh, sweet, and there's a loading room. Damn! Rough! I'm actually excited for this shit. I don't know, this gives me an old, like, um. It gives me an old vibe, uh, like, of older games. So you can't go very far when you jump out of the whatever it is you're jumping out of. Oh, a little puss yeah. could have barricaded up. Oh, so oh, so you even turn into a chicken. Mm-hmm. And then you got so much time to to uh, try to hold on to your life. Why is the chicken so fast then? What the fuck? That's the thing. Yeah, it gives you an opportunity to stay alive. Okay, I don't like that. That's something I don't like. Fuck that shit. Yeah, it, it gets a little uh. Supply dropping. It's hard to once you down something. But the thing about it, though is you go down three times. I think on your third time you just instantly die. Bro, I don't have any heals. I'm already gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> it's kind of it's kinda, it. it's a cute Fuck little game. Man. <laughs> it Fuck is. the chicken! It's Fuck nice. the chicken! <laughs> how how come I can't get away as a chicken? Well, see now when when you level up your character from playing with it a little more, you actually get um. Well. When you go to your uh, main menu, you can uh, look up your characters. Uh, you go to the armory, and then you go to loadout, and it will show you, uh, you can look at your perks. <laughs> and there's uh, passive abilities that you'll you'll have for your character. And uh, Yes! I killed somebody! <laughs> and with the passive abilities for your character or whatever, you can, like, acclimate it to where you get a... Uh, Mm, excuse me. You can acclimate it to where you got a uh, a faster chicken, hands. or you can have more help on your chicken. Yada yada yada. Oh, Philippe, I already have that. Charging things up. I need heals, but I haven't found any. Ooh, a you slug have to open, You have to open up a bunch of chests or go to a Go to a uh, forge and forge some heals, yeah, or you can find you a, you can find you offhand like there's there's things that'll heal you like healing totems, that's an offhand ability, uh, huh. healing shouts, um, ice walls they turn you into a block of ice but they heals you. A 
shielding shout shield yourself from nearby enemies further collapse expected travel to indicated safe zone hey I got a kill I'm <laughs> I'm happy with it. oh yes yes okay I got heals Oh, it doesn't heal you very much, though. That's that sucks. That's kind of cheeks. Sit rep. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Hey, you stole my kill, you son of a bitch! Sitting there sniping at this dude the whole time, and somebody just comes up and fucking steals it. God damn it! Yeah, well, I mean, you can still get that loot. Just kill that son of a bitch. Because you kill somebody, you get you get a lot of shards. You get all the shards that they had, I believe. Actually, I think you wind up getting more. You get a lot of shards just for killing them. Plus, you can go around and find loot goblins if you listen real carefully. You hear something laugh and snicker in the background. So you try to get closer to it. You keep following the sound. No. And if you get close to it, a goblin pops up and you gotta kill it really fast. And if you kill it really fast, you get a shitload of shards and you get some really cool stuff out of the bag too. Plus they got like no. airdrops too. If you, if you pay attention to the map, you can see uh, chest icons that you can go loot uh, uh, supply drops and shit too. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. No, fuck, I'm a chicken again. Sniper in Rivertown. Be advised. Okay. Game's fun as shit. I like zone. them. I like them. I like the way. I like them moving. But I think I need to increase my uh, ADS sensitivity. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, yeah, uh, there's, if you pick the assassin class, you get the, uh, sniper rifle. They're, actually, every class has a long-range weapon. So, you get, like, with the archer, you get a, you get a war bow, I think, it's like a super long bow. Um, yada, 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 and then you got your... Your sniper for your assassin. I don't know what the warrior does, but you got different kinds of stabs and shit, magical stabs and shit you could use for the mage. sensitivity up from an 8 again up even a little bit higher maybe to a 10 
I just got a solo victory, man. <laughs> I was, I knew, I was wondering what was going on. You got so quiet. Yeah. Yeah, I got pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was focusing right there. The battle pass is in season one, right? Actually, you get the, uh, you get the, uh, the season two battle pass. You get that automatically free. I think it's something that you have to download. I'm not sure, but yeah. it comes with it. So you get uh, you get yeah. you get the uh, the premiere or what are uh, this? You don't have to buy it. Is what I'm saying. They got the they got the regular battle pass that goes free. That's free for everybody, and then they got that uh, premium battle pass. You get the premium for free. I just think you have to download it through the store.